Hello, this is Jeff McFeeters with a very brief walkthrough on how to set up luminosity masking actions using Jimmy McIntyre's Easy Panel for luminosity masking in Photoshop. Let's open up the browser and here is uh, Through Strange Lenses. This is a photograph photography blog by Jimmy McIntyre. You'll see his easy panel somewhere on that page if it's changed uh, since I recorded this. When you get to that, you'll see uh, he asks for your email. Uh, this is so you can subscribe to uh, his blog updates, which are um, about once a week, maybe less often, depending on his travel schedule. They are very useful, full of uh, uh, their brief emails. Um, and uh, I really enjoy them. You'll click uh, get the panel here and this will, will initiate an email to uh, your email address that you listed so that you can confirm uh, the subscription and uh, you'll get this very short email and click here to confirm your subscription. Once you have downloaded the uh, package it comes as a zip uh, package with several folders inside and it will open up into a folder labeled Easy Panel and you'll have some useful materials inside besides the actual extensions that you'll be installing into your installation of Photoshop. Highly recommend you watch these if you have not seen these before. Uh, if you are pretty new to Photoshop this is a very useful uh, short tutorial on masking and if you have an older version of Photoshop uh, check this out and down here for more recent versions of Photoshop including uh, CC 2014. Alright, once uh, you have this downloaded and opened then uh, the instructions tell you to install the extension and give you uh, clear instructions. I'm going to demonstrate that. You're going to be launching the Extension Manager. If you don't have the Adobe Extension Manager installed yet, that is a free download. And uh, if you have Creative Cloud and open the Creative Cloud app, you'll see what, ex what applications you have installed. And if you don't see Extension Manager, it will be listed below here in the um, uh, apps that you may try or apps that you can download and install. It will be under E somewhere in this area with an install button. If uh, you get that installed then you're able to launch it and um, here are the extensions that I have and I have Photoshop CC 2014 installed on this computer so I've already got the panel installed, but if you did not, uh, any extensions are available right here by clicking Install Extension. Navigate to uh, that folder on your hard drive and find the correct uh, extension. Click Open and uh, you'll have some like two steps. Uh, you'll need to accept the license and um, and then uh, once you accept it, it will install. Simply launch Photoshop and uh, you'll see I already have the Easy Panel installed. If it were not installed, I would simply um, go up here to Window, Extensions. You can uninstall and install these extensions uh, at will and uh, it places them in this quick access panel here and these are the uh, buttons that access the actions that have been installed in the actions palette which uh, I have a shortcut to my actions palette here and they would be listed in here uh, depending on how you have yours organized and you can organize them and do whatever you want with them the, as long as they're in the actions available as an action uh, the Easy Panel will be able to access them and launch them as a button. Okay, that's uh, 
how simple it is. It's all you need to do to get the uh, free uh, easy panel from Jimmy McIntyre set up on your installation of Photoshop and, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.